What is ascension and what does that mean for us? A lot of us are in the middle of our ascension process. So that means when you're evolving, when you're evolving as a human, human being, to put it simple. Also, Earth is evolving. Earth is becoming its next planetary system that it must evolve to. If you've heard these concepts before, you might be familiar with it. If you're not, buckle yourself in. This might be some really new information, but possibly helpful to your entire life, to your entire lifestyle. Earth right now is going through a evolutionary process. A lot of us are realizing it. There's a huge shift. You're seeing two polarities happening at once. You have one end of the spectrum, which is super, hmm, I don't want to say negative because everything is a part of God. God created it. That's why it's there. But we're going to speak on it like so it makes more so it's more simplified you have on one spectrum the negativity and on one spectrum the positivity and we're seeing them both play out against each other right now that is the spiritual warfare many people are discussing there's a lot of things coming out in the media a lot of information coming out a lot of human beings awakening and it's happening really really fast some of us can't even keep up with it, right? Some of us give up because we're just like, I don't know what's going on, so I'm out. <laughs> so the point is, is you don't want to tap out. You want to jump right in. You want to be the best you right now because that matters to the entire ascension process, including to your higher self, this higher selves that are waiting for you once your earth life is done because this is not all that there is. There is so much more. Some of this information may not resonate with you and that's okay. Take what you can and hopefully it'll change your life as much as it's changed my life. I've made a huge reality shift. I was in one reality, jumped into a whole nother different reality. I didn't even know it was possible at the time. And now I'm sitting in it and I'm like, oh my goodness, it is possible. It became possible because I made it possible. That's how it works. When you have chosen to begin your awakening, you need to continue to evolve. You need to continue to learn and grow just as earth is learning and growing because earth is ascending itself. It is its own being and it will ascend to its next evolutionary process because it wants to continue to grow. Pretty much what that means for you here is you have the opportunity right now to really make a change in your life. You have the opportunity to be closer to God. You have the opportunity to be closer with yourself. You have the opportunity to be closer with family, friends, people you can't even relate to. You have that opportunity now. Earth goes through a cycle every few thousands of years that allows it to move forward and uh, work with new energy some of us are not all going to hop on board with it. Some of us will have to come back and redo the next cycle and try it again. And some of us are realizing that this is an ascension that's occurring and not only for the human beings on the planet, but also for the galactical system that we are in. Currently, we are in a time matrix that has been hijacked a long, long time ago. And when it got hijacked, a lot of energy just kind of came in, came out, we got all kinds of things going on. And we were put in here, um, most of us were put in here to help the entire ascension, the whole galaxy, the galactical blueprint to align again. We are here as light pillars to make sure that earth receives enough energy from the right frequencies so it can continue its ascension process. And that's beautiful. You're part of something so much bigger and you don't even know it just by being your best self. When you're your best self here and you're aligning with that, that light pillar energy, you begin to really make a difference in your life because once you know you're the light being, there's no turning back. You really just continue to choose to be your best self every given moment that you can. We're not perfect, so yes, mistakes will occur, but are you learning from those mistakes? And as long as you continue to learn from those mistakes, you continue to be a light pillar. We don't wanna be repeating lessons, that's not the point. You wanna learn from your lesson so you can move on to the next lesson. The faster you do that, the faster your lifestyle will change. The faster your reality will change. You will jump from one reality all the way into the next just from being your best self because earth sees that you're connecting with earth. You're connecting with who you truly are and it gives you that energy and feeds it right back to you and like, okay, this person's doing exactly what they need to do to help things be collected again to help things be united again and that I will I will feed energy towards so that way they can continue to be satisfied the earth will continue to gift to you because you continue to do your best it is that simple you do one good you, you do good things for earth and earth will give you that energy right back and that's how it works because you are a part of it all we're a part of everything we are a part of everything uh, we started uh, as source and source broke himself down 
a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And these are the results you get. You get beings like us. And these beings, we ascend our way right back up to be with source once more. And it's a process. It's definitely a process, but it's not, it's not a, it's, not an impossible task. It's definitely possible. And when you've uh, jumped onto this, you can make a whole world of a difference in your entire life. Some pointers I want to give out to those that are actually interested in their ascension process. It's literally being your best self, like realizing that you need to, whatever you're not changing, you are choosing. I saw that the other day and I felt like that was just perfect because it's true. Whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. If you really want to change your lifestyle and all these things, but you're not changing anything about it, then you're choosing the lifestyle you're in. And that applies to everything. You're not changing a certain behavior, then you're choosing that behavior. I'm not saying that a behavior can be changed automatically overnight, but it can be changed. There is no excuse, especially when you're in your ascension process. There is no excuse. If you really want to be evolved, if you really want to be a part of the ascension process, you want to be that light pillar for earth because we are, that's what you do. Nothing touches you when you're a light pillar. Nothing. I mean, lessons come in because lessons must come in because how do you make a warrior by giving them lessons and they accomplish these lessons and when they make these accomplishments and they 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 just keep evolving you're just making a stronger and stronger light pillar it's not about you needing to do things quicker or faster it really is about like a, there's a lot of slowdown periods within this and there's a rubber band effect that occurs and all kinds of stuff like that so we'll keep it simple though you don't need to be rushing into your ascension everything is little by little your higher self will allow you to move forward as long as you are doing the right things and as long as you're answering the right, right way, as, as long as you're doing those right actions, those right reactions, that right thought process, then every single time you are getting closer and closer and closer to higher self, you will hear your higher self literally over time much clearer. And it's so amazing. It's, it's, feels crazy at first because you, you feel like you're just talking to yourself, but you realize you're really not talking to yourself. We all have a being, we all have a higher self that is there for us and it's there for us and it's willing to give us information and willing to help us as long as you're taking the right steps towards your ascension because you're helping earth in the process. So of course they're going to start coming and um, of course your higher self will begin to speak to you because it's like this person gets it. This person sees purpose. This person sees the overall gist of it all. You don't need to know all the little somatics in between. You don't need to know all the details. You don't need to know all of that. But what you do need to know is that there is more. There is so much more. And by being, if, and if you want to be a part of that so much more, you need to be a better person. You have to. It's just how it is. And that's your ticket out of here, right? Nobody wants to keep coming back here for hundreds of years because you can't get it figured out. The time is now. You can get it figured out right now. In this lifetime, you can get it figured out. So when you go back to God, when you go back and you're in your and you're finished your earth lessons, you're allowed onto the next level. It's not just one spectrum of the end of hell and heaven. There's so much more in between. That's just like a super simplified version of it. And it's just really, it's really, really, it's really beautiful. It's a really beautiful process. And it'll make so much more sense to you the more you continue to make those changes. The more you decide, stand up for what I believe in. I'm going to stand up for what's right. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to make better decisions. I'm going to make better actions. I'm going to make better choices. All those things. When you continue to do all those things, it will get better. It always gets better. God does not leave you in the dark. God sees you and he's, he's patiently waiting for you to realize you are worth it. He knows you're worth it, but do you realize you're worth it? That's where it's all at. When you, once you realize you're worth it and you actually begin to act that way, life becomes colorful <laughs> so much more colorful you begin to see so much opportunities you begin to see all the options you begin to see all of those things and it it feels really refreshing it feels very peaceful there is a lot of chaos going around and all those things but when you're at at, at a level like this you will find peace no matter where you are at because you can it's again a 
mind process. Where is your mind at? What level is your mind at? What would higher self do? Because that's what's really, really, really important. Higher self wants you to make the right decisions and the right actions so you're aligning with higher self so you can move on to the next level. That's what earth, earth is, earth is, Earth is already ready to move on. Earth is like, I'm over it. I'm showing all the colors of what's going on here. That's why we're having such a huge push going on, especially in the media. You see the war happening. You have you have on one end all the positive, on one end all the negative, and they're really making a clash, and then they're making it very confusing, and it's it's on purpose. It's It's on purpose. All this media chaos that's happening is on purpose. It is to confuse you. It is to make you think that, it's to keep you grounded here and only on earth and not so you're not thinking about the next levels that there's to come up ahead because you're too caught up on this 3D fake news planet. <laughs> there's there's a lot more than your typical news channels and what whatever whatever gossip channels are feeding and all these things. Like We are beyond that. If you want to sit in that level, then you can sit in that level, but it's not going to feed you anything, and it's just going to create more confusion within the inner self. It has nothing to do with your ascension process. None of those things will forever keep going because that's just the part of the cycle. That's the part of the machine. That's the part of the hijacked that has occurred in our planetary system. That'll always be there. It's your job to see, to see, right? You want to see the truth. You don't want to fall into just any narrative that is spewing any kind of information. You want to make sure that you're actually feeding yourself the correct information or not even correct, but at least much more loving, lighthearted information than what they want you to think the world is. Ascension is something that takes its time. There's slow down periods and rubber band effects like I spoke about earlier. So a slow down period, what do I mean by that? So sometimes we're doing a lot, a lot, a lot of work on ourselves and all these things. And then you begin to think, why am I not getting results? It's been a month. It's been two months. It's been eight months. And I still have yet to have a result. Don't think that way. Seeds take time to grow. You have planted a seed. Trust that you planted your seed and continue to work on your seed. Continue to water it. Continue to love it. That is the way it works. You can't just expect to plant your seed, ignore it, and then, okay, it'll come back to me in eight months. That is not how manifestation works, especially the way mainstream media is discussing manifestation. Like if it's just some, oh, I thought it, I'm going to have it. I want it. I like it. I got it. I want it. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't work like that. Ascension and, and um, when you're on this process, it takes time. This is that's really the time to begin to heal and love yourself and just be patient. That's that's what you got to do, you know? So continue to do the actions, the steps, thinking the right way, all those things. If intrusive thoughts come and it's like, "Hey, you're not doing it right. You're not this, you're not that." If you know you're doing it right and you know you're doing your best and it's not that you're out here lala gagging or you're out here feeding negative energy out there, then you're on the right track. You'll be fine. It's just Continue to focus, get that clarity, get that vision and work towards it because it will not be given to you. It, you have to work towards it. Higher self is like a gatekeeper, so to say. So you can feel a thousand percent ready right now. But if gatekeeper says you're not ready, you're not ready because there might be so much more to come in that next level. And if you're not even at that level to handle those things, why would higher self allow you to have those things? You could say you want a million dollars, but if you're not financially stable to handle a million dollars, then why would higher self give you a million dollars? Not that this is about money or anything like that, because higher self could care less about money, but it does have to do with the aspect of when you're mentally ready, you have to, you have to respect, you have to respect yourself. You have to be you can't be naive to the fact like if you're not ready, you're not ready. You know, you just, if you're not ready, you're not ready, but plant the seeds, plant the seeds so you can become ready. And when that, when it becomes available, it will be there. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you guys an example with myself. I, um, a few years back, I really thought I was ready for what I'm handling right now. If you would have given me what I'm handling right now, a few years ago, Absolutely not. So I know for a fact, higher self knew exactly what it was doing for me because it did give me all the little things I needed to get to this point. And now I'm at this point and 
there's, there's a lot I'm handling, but I'm at that mental state where I can handle it. I wouldn't have been able to handle it back then, so I would have lost it all anyways. That's how it works. <laughs> that, that's how ascension works. That's how it all works. It's not just given to us because we're God's pupils, you know, no. We're, we're learning, and we got to respect the learning process. When you respect the learning process, you'll get there. So you have to trust the process. Earth is not going to stop its ascension process. Earth is really, really moving towards... Earth is moving towards light. Earth is moving towards where Earth needs to go. And we have the opportunity to be a part of that. You have the opportunity right now to be a part of this ascension process. This is your chance to pick your side, to pick who you truly are and what you're willing to do to be your best self and to continue that so we can teach the generations to come. You could teach the children if you have children or if you work with children or anything like that. This is our opportunity to show that there is more. It's not just about clothes and fashion or or TVs and media and these TikToks and all these things like that's entertainment and, and not that it's evil it's it's entertainment and that's simply what it is this that entertainment will not be with us when we move on from earth that entertainment will mean nothing to us when we move on from earth so make sure you're spending your time wisely and teach that to those around you the little ones around you show them what quality time is show them the truth of who they are help them understand that there is more so these little things are just they're nothing they're entertainment and that's all that they are don't be scared to grow and continue to learn when you continue to learn nothing comes out of it but more beautiful things I promise when you learn it opens up all kinds of doors for you that you would have never 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 expected trust God's process Trust yourself, trust your higher self, make those right choices and fix that mindset. If that's something you really got to work on, fix it. You know, even if I understand like not every day is going to be a hundred percent, but it doesn't mean that because your day wasn't a hundred percent that you're not you're not great. Like if you're not a light being, you're still a light being. We're human. We have human emotions attached here on earth. That's just the way it is. We have ego attached to us here on earth. That's the point. Spirit needs to be grounded. Spirit needs to be here on earth so it can handle what's going on here on earth. As long as you're keeping it going, you know, that that's how you know you're on the right track. You don't want to give up. Don't give up because sometimes people give up and they were right there, right there. They were right there so close, you know? Don't give up. Everything will work out. You got to trust the process and trust God and trust that you are here for a reason. You have purpose. You are Earth's light pillar. We help good energy come right into Earth so Earth can do exactly what it needs to do, and that is to evolve just like the rest of us. Sending so much love to everybody. Don't stop learning. Don't stop growing and do everything you got to do to get to where you got to go because you are the only one that can save yourself. Sending so much love to everybody. Peace, and I'll talk to you guys real, real soon.